everybody knows when you're placing a loudspeaker in a room that it's going to be louder in the front and softer in the back. It's going to be more clear up in the front and near the loudspeaker, and it's going to be more um, chaotic sound-wise towards the rear of the room. And it in our, in our rooms are not perfect. That's not always linear, meaning uh, six foot back is not necessarily going to be softer than 12 foot back or louder, etc. Because the way the waves interact with the room can affect, we can have hot spots in the middle of the room, we can have hot spots in the front of the room. Another beautiful characteristic of DML technology is that it doesn't interact with the room and the air that way. And so I have a DML loudspeaker in the front of a room. If I go to the rear of the room, it's maybe a little bit softer, but overall it's a very similar experience to what's happening at the front of the room, which is something that we've we try to do the best we can with the traditional loudspeakers of today when we design audio systems, but that's been kind of a holy grail that's been very difficult to reach. And so you'll see churches that have what we call a delay ring, where there's main speakers up front, and we've got some speakers hung above us with some special processing to put them in time with the speakers in the front because the speed of sound travels and it's, it gets complicated. But that's to allow the experience towards the rear of the room to be similar to the, to the experience in the front. Well, now you can use a loudspeaker technology, DML technology, that doesn't matter so much where you sit in the room. And so instead of telling your folks that didn't want the loud experience during worship time not to sit in the front, they can sit wherever they want. Likewise, the folks that came in late that are in the back of the room are not going to have a sacrifice performance uh, of the, of the uh, worship experience because of where they sit. It's kind of a new day.